Hey, so in the past I created a series about nested sets model and how you can represent hierarchies or trees in Postgres or relational databases. It was really interesting for me to do and I'm planning to continue doing these things because they are because I think they are pretty interesting and important. Uh, this one was pretty hard to uh, understand and uh, film and it's actually really useful especially if you want to query that tree and find the left part of the tree and right part of the tree depending on where you are or like selecting a random node you can find all of its um, descendant or parents um, in a very fast way it's pretty good it's pretty cool and there is another thing called adjacent C list model but you might already know this name from data structures because adjacency list is a way to represent graphs also trees, but in programming languages. For example, in this JavaScript object, we are using dictionaries or objects, plain objects, with an array. And this will be a way to represent the graphs. And this I'll visualize it for you here. So we have A, which points to A, which is itself, and points to B. B points to C, C points to D, D points to C and B. So this is a graph and we have a cycle here. Uh, so it's adjacency list, it's a way to represent hierarchies and graphs. And it's a pretty cool thing to check it. So I will put a link in the description for this um, article. And they explain graphs and some terminologies about graphs and types of graphs and applications of graphs. It's a really nice article. And about this data structure, I have also another video I created in maybe two years ago. Okay. Well, um, where you can, I'm just showing you this space. It's an example, similar example to that and some applications to it. I'll put also a link in the description for it. But the JSC list model in our case, it will be a way to represent hierarchies, not graphs, um, sort of speak, but it's basically we have a parent root node and a bunch of nodes connected to it and the nodes connected to these nodes and so on and i'll just show you the basic a basic example for that just to get the idea it's pretty straightforward we start by the root node we have an id for it which is one we have a parent reference let's say call it parent id because this is the root will be null now let's add an id a child to it id will be equal to Let's make this bigger. Okay, now parent ID will be equal to one. Let's add another child. ID three. Parent ID equal one. Let's actually copy this. So okay, make it faster. ID four. So every node will just have a pointer to its parent, and that's basically the idea. And this would be ID 5. Now let's add a node here as a child to this one. So parent ID will be equal to 3, which is the ID of this node. I hope you can see this. Um, and ID will be 6. Let's add a node here. ID will be 7. Parent ID will be equal to 2. Let's add a node here. ID will be 8. Parent ID will be 7, and let's add another one. ID will be equal to 9. Parent ID will be equal also to 7. Um, yeah. So that's how you create the tree. And the cool thing about this, which makes it sometimes uh, more appropriate to choose over the nested sets tree, is if I want to delete a node here, instead of going and updating a huge or a considerable amount of nodes in our in our tree the only thing you need to do is just you have two options actually you can just delete this whole branch you can so i want to delete this node you can delete the whole branch and that's it and you don't need to update anything else you're done or and this could be achieved by having uh, a foreign key and a cascade delete so you delete this everything that reference it will be delete and this will cascade and delete the whole branch or uh, you find a common child on the same level and 
um, propagate one of them to be the replacement for that parent. This will work in this example here. So I want to delete this node instead of deleting these three. I will select one of these tools based on a condition and uplift it to be the, the previous, or the parent basically. So I just deleted the parent and now I have to link these. So to say this will be now be the parent and this will be that child to it. I need of course to update the IDs. So parent ID will be equal to two, which is the ID of this node. And this one now will have a parent ID of nine. So that's another way to update, to delete nodes. Uh, updating references is also super easy. The only thing you need to do, let's say this node should now be the, chi the child of this node. The only thing you need to do is to update the parent ID reference and that's it. So parent ID will be equal to six. And this will make our graph look like this. And that's it. So that's pretty nice, in my opinion. And in the next set of videos, I will show you how we can uh, implement this in Postgres and how we can query it with recursive common table expressions to extract a specific path in the tree or hierarchy uh, and search that. That's it. It's pretty simple and see you. Bye.